Good evening, grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. We are gathered on this day of love, Valentine's Day and Ash Wednesday. I am Elizabeth Johnson, and I'm one of the pastors here at First Presbyterian Church. And on behalf of myself and Pastor Will and Pastor Diane, we welcome you to this holy night. Those of you worshiping in person and those of you worshiping online, we extend a special welcome to those of you who are our, our visiting guests. We are glad that you are here. Ash Wednesday is the beginning of a holy season, the holy season of Lent, a time when we repent from our sins, reflect on the death of our Lord and our salvation from his death. And we recommit ourselves to following Jesus in the bulletin, which those of you who are worshiping online can access through our website, we've listed some faith practices to help you along in your journey in Lent. We've also listed opportunities to deepen your faith this Lent, including tonight's service. As you take part in this service, we will sing a, a special kind of song uh, that is in the Taze. Um, and Taze is a village in France. Since 1940, it's been the home to ecumenical community of Christians committed to prayer and reflection. We'll experience Taze's emphasis on prayer and reflections in the songs that we will sing together tonight. So let us now begin our journey of Lent as we light this candle. And if you are at home or a place where you can, I invite you to light a candle connecting you to us. And we will hear now a call to a spiritual pilgrimage. As Pastor Elizabeth said, Lent is a holy journey to the cross and empty tomb of our Lord. Because it is a holy journey, in the words of Sister Joan Chittister, Lent is the opportunity to change what we ought to change but have not. Lent is about becoming, doing, and changing whatever it is that is blocking the fullness of life in us right now. Lent is a summons to live anew. To help us do that this Lent, we have a special guide. It's a book by Eugene Peterson titled, A Long Obedience in the Same Direction, Discipleship in an Instant Society. In the book, Peterson says that there are spiritual tourists and spiritual pilgrims. Spiritual tourists are those who want religion or spirituality on their own terms, or only when it's convenient, or only at special times, or on special occasions. Spiritual tourists have a now and then spirituality, a when I have the time and interest religion. They like spiritual highs and want results now. Spiritual pilgrims, on the other hand, are those who know that faith is a long obedience in the same direction. They are disciples, lifelong followers of the Lord. Pilgrims are on a day-by-day -day intentional journey of learning and growing in relationship with the Lord and with other pilgrims. Spiritual pilgrims are committed to worship, community, service, and other faith practices. Join us this night and this Lent as we heed our Lord's call to be His spiritual pilgrims.
Let's now come to God in prayer. God, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in your presence. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your son's name we pray. Amen. A reading from Psalm, one, from Psalm 51. Be merciful to me, God, because of your unfailing love. Because of your great mercy, wipe away my sins. For I know that I've done wrong. It bothers me day and night. I've sinned against you, and you've seen how bad I can be. For I was born a sinner. I've been out of step with you for a long time. Remove my sin and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Create a clean heart in me, God, and put a new and right spirit in me. 
Give me again the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. My sacrifice is a humble spirit, God. You will not reject a humble heart that turns to you. A reading from Susan Paulus Sherman called Journey. Whether we want it or not, life in space and time sweeps us along on a journey. Time is motion. Space is in motion. We live on a turning planet circling a star and the star with all its companions moves through space in one spiral arm of a large galaxy, which is moving in a circular journey through space and time. We are on a journey of becoming, whether we want to be or not. The church year, most especially Lent, is an opportunity to do this consciously, to participate consciously in becoming, in transforming, rather than just being swept unwillingly, unknowingly along. When we follow Christ into Lent, we turn on to a path into wilderness where we may encounter hard, rocky places tempters and thirst, but that will lead us out into the gold of the Easter dawn.
as a visual reminder that we are spiritual pilgrims. We will place a cross of ashes on your forehead or on your hand. The cross reminds us of our sin and mortality. It also reminds us of our death to sin in Christ so as you receive the ashes, you will say, we will say to you, consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ. To receive the ashes, you will come forward by the center aisle to one of us and then return by a side aisle. If you prefer, we'll place the ashes on the back of your hand instead of on your forehead. Also, if you are unable to come forward, Raise your hand after the others have come forward, and we will come to you. For those of you who are worshiping online, we hope that you will join us by placing a cross of water on your own forehead or by having someone do that for you. Will you pray with me? Holy God, bless these ashes and water and all of us who will receive them this night. May the cross etched on our foreheads or on our hands remind us of our repentance, your forgiveness, and our renewed commitment to consider ourselves dead to sin and alive in your Son, our Lord. Amen.
please join me now in prayer, followed by saying the Lord's Prayer together. Almighty God, how grateful we are that in spite of our frailty and our sin, you mark us anew as your very own. As we bear our cross of ashes, we remember Jesus, whose sacrifice conquered death, allowing us to sing praises even on our way to the grave. Lead us by your Spirit through this Lenten season, that we may follow Christ more closely. Help us to pray in faith and read your word with understanding. Worship with passion and gather together with love. Help us to follow Christ more boldly, giving generously, serving compassionately, sharing your goodness, that new growth may bloom in us out of the ashes of the old. These things we ask in Jesus' name as we join our voices together in the prayer he taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.